to a studio vlog. Thank you so much for clicking on my video, I really appreciate it. My name is Ada, I do art and fail at life. <laughs> we are currently on the 8th of October today, which means we're eight days into Peachtober, which I've been taking part in over on my Instagram. It is a daily drawing challenge hosted by Furry Little Peach. You've probably heard of it. It's her own take on Inktober, the daily drawing challenge of October where you use ink and it's slightly modified and, you know, non-copyrighted. So we love that. Sean has now created a prompt list every year for the past, I want to say six years. Is that right? I've taken part four times, skipped one, and now I'm taking part again. So yeah, six times, that is right. Well, I skipped last year because I was in a weird place and I just didn't have the brain capacity to draw 31 drawings. But this year, you might have seen on Instagram, I'm doing tiny little canvas magnets so that they are, you know, quick and easy to do and I can not fall behind as I pretty much have done every single year. And it's been super fun and the feedback I've gotten has been really lovely. And even though they're simple, I've really, really been enjoying doing it. So. So far today, I've been prepping some of my pieces that I've already finished for the next few days, ready to post. I wasn't sure how to show them off because they're so small and like, is it worth showing one a day? But I decided to do that because it's it's really fun to post every day. I just really enjoy it and see all the different entries that other people do. So like every day you go through the tag and you have a look and see what other people's interpretations of that prompt are. And I just love it so much. The way I've been presenting the work is I'll scan one on colored paper. The next day I will take a picture of it being held, then a scan, then a picture of me holding it. So it's like a bit more interesting on the eye as a grid on your feed <laughs> as originally i was just going to do the colored paper and it just looked a bit crazy like all next to each other so i've swapped it up a bit so that's what we're doing so i took the necessary pictures today of the ones that i need to hold and i also scanned the one which needs to be scanned today and i've edited that so that'll be ready for in a few days and i need to edit today's prompt because i haven't got it ready to post yet today's prompt is dream which is a really nice word and you could create so many lovely illustrations based on that but i went really simple went with a little bunny dreaming of a flower so i need to prepare him properly to post but first if you watched my last video you will have seen the lovely package that zoe vaguely original sent over to me and i want to pack her a response gift and send it off i painted her a little plaque to say thank you for my painting of Moo. This is in no way as personal, but I just wanted to do something fun for her, so I hope she that she likes it. A little mushroom dude on a skateboard, having the time of his life. The coloured edges. It's pretty cute. So I need to pack him up and decide what else I'm going to send over with him. Zoe's package. I was just coming to pack it up fully in the envelope and everything and it just doesn't work. <laughs> I figured it would be fine in a regular envelope but it's just too wide and like I just you can't really close it which is a little bit of an issue because I plan to list some of these plaques in my next shop update which will be November. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be November. I've got nothing planned in November, so I'm gonna get my shop back up and going because it's been a few years now since I've done an actual update. And I currently have my A3 prints listed and that's the only thing I've had up there for like a year. Anyway, bit of an issue because that means, sorry cat, I'm gonna have to get new envelopes specifically just to ship my originals in, which I did not plan for, but everything's a learning curve and now I know so I can prepare beforehand and get some. So what I'm gonna do with Zoe's is wrap everything up in some like package paper I've got and just put it in a little poly mailer. So it should all be fine in there, but I just didn't expect that. So that is something I'm gonna have to add to my list of things I need before I list everything. <laughs> Make it a little cuter. This looks wild dodgy, so he's gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> okay, now that's done. I need to prep and post my peach tober piece for today, and then my friend's coming over in about an hour. So I think I'm gonna stop filming for today, but nice to see ya. I shall see you another day with probably more peach tober shenanigans. So 
it is a few days later now and we are still cracking on with Peachtober. We are on the 11th day today, so pencil is today's prompt. And outside of prepping and posting that today, I really want to work on a couple more pieces because after tomorrow, which is Nest, which is probably my least favourite design I've done so far, but it's ready to go, I finished it, I'm not redoing it. After that, I have no more pieces ready to post. So I would like to try and stay ahead of the game. So today, I really want to attempt to make some kind of reel, just processing a little bit of the creation process of the peach table pieces just because I haven't filmed anything. I'm just working on them when I can, so I haven't been filming them. But I would like to have some of them filmed, even if it's just a couple. I'm gonna attempt to do two today. I will try and document the reel making process on here, and then I will share the reel at the end. Okay, we should start. I have no plan, let's just go for it. This is what I'm thinking for the first shot, a little close up of the materials that I'm using. never really tell how a reel turns out until you edit it. The lighting is working for now. Currently working on the prompt for ship. You're probably thinking, how is that relevant? He's a letter who ships himself. Who knows where to? And I'm gonna try and get some of this one done, which the prompt is weather. Can you even see that? Probably not. <laughs> but I'm just gonna focus on this now. I'm just drawing now, so there's nothing much to film. And if it went well, I will share the reel now. It's a new dawn, it's a rainy day. We are on day 18 of Peachtober, which also means the 18th of October, and I have not yet decorated for Halloween, so I'm not doing so well on the Halloween front. I've got some decorations up, a couple new bits that I have acquired this year, but all of my other stuff uh, is not yet up. I went to get my decorations out the other day and there was a huge spider in the box, so I left it and ran away. I'm hoping to be brave today. <laughs> I also need to prep my peach shower for today. If you take part in like a daily challenge of any kind in any month, the month always just flies by. So like the decorating day is just not come yet, but we are there today. Today I will do some kind of spooky decorating. <laughs> the only new bits that I've acquired this year are this little guy, little bobblehead. He's from Poundland. He is very cute. And then my mum and my sister went to B&M, I think, to get some Halloween bits, and my mum picked these up for me. These are actually dog toys, but they come in a four pack, and they are just so cute. And she knew I'd love them, and I absolutely do. I also can't get over the fact that the pumpkin is a Bowie pumpkin. I don't know what that means, why he's got the Ziggy Flash, but I'm not going to question it. But yes, very cute. So, so far, those are all I have, and I need to dig out the rest of the stuff. I'm hoping today there will be no spiders, and I can get on with it.
hello once again. We are officially in November now, which means Peachtober is complete and I managed to do every day and I only fell behind once, like two or three days before the end and then I managed to catch up and post my last entry on Halloween so I'm very happy and I was also able to take part in the bonus prompts which were a picture of all your Peachtober pieces together and reintroduce yourself to old followers, new followers, anyone who may care. <laughs> my tea's gone cold, I can't drink that. So the post with all my pieces together, I just took a picture of them all on my desk, but a few days ago I decided to scan them all in and I placed them all together on Photoshop, so now I have like a nice, even image with them all on because the canvases I was using were all like slightly off, like they weren't all 100% exactly the same so when I placed them all together they were a little wonky so that's why I did that and today I want to do some test prints I'm debating maybe making a print out of it I'm not sure if people would want it oh my god I'm blind <laughs> um however step one of that process will be just to actually do the test prints and see if they actually look any good or not so that's the plan today we'll see how it goes <laughs> check again oh god okay as you can see this is not good you want all the lines to be full uh this this and this should look like these <laughs> so i'm going to keep cleaning it do a power clean and then it should be fine but you've got to maintain your printer it is your whole business and you are ruined without it <laughs> Okay, thankfully, no power cleaning needed. I did two or three more of the head cleaning and I can report top marks A star so we can begin test printing finally. <laughs> As you saw, I was struggling quite a bit with the prints. Because of the shape and the size of the pieces, I had a lot of like space at the edges left over, and I wasn't loving how it was looking as a print in a frame, doing its print thing. I posted about it on my stories just to get your guys' opinions, and some friends reached out, gave me some advice on what maybe I could do. I tried a grid with gaps in between each piece, but that didn't solve the spacing issue because it was still the same shape. My friend Katie suggested maybe changing the layout and I couldn't f figure out another way to do it other than 8x4 and she suggested maybe like getting rid of a few or creating a little bit more art to fill in the space so that's what I ended up doing. So I designed this on Procreate to fill in the gap, I didn't know what, it, what I wanted it to be but I thought I would just write Peachtober 2023. So we've just got this on a canvas board so that uh, texture and all the colours and everything would match. So now I've been able to relay these as five by seven instead. And I just added in a little extra art piece here. So I'm much happier with this. And that is now complete and I'm very happy. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Um, this was a very Peachtober heavy vlog. That has kind of been most of my life for the past month but we are done with that now. And I can move on to getting my shop open. I still don't have a date, but I will put it on screen. I'm not uploading this video until I know when my shop will be open. So there's the date, eek. And you can find a link to my Etsy down below if you're interested. And any more shop information will be on my Instagram probably. That's where I update everything. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'm guessing my next video should be a shop update vlog. So I'll see you then. Hurrah! <laughs>